Okay, right now I am at Baltimore Comic Con with Brian Tennis, who created the world of Arthos, which is now an RPG, and it all started with a series called Andarian Prophecy. Mm -hmm. So you started this in 2018? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, July of 2018, I, uh, I was telling my son stories at night to help him fall asleep, and uh, I just... Uh, I took some old Dungeons and Dragons stuff to help write the, or or make up the stories for him. Just stuff to help him fall asleep at night. And after a couple of weeks of doing it, I turned to my wife and I was like, hey, I think I have enough stuff to write a book. And I had retired in 2018 from my job. I used to be a professional engineer. So uh, I started, my wife had just taken a new job. She had a month off. So I took that time. I started writing a couple chapters. And I found out right away that what I thought was going to be one book ended up being a, well, a tetragy. So, uh, so that's kind of how I got the series done. It, it took me about, oh, I'd say, a year and a half to write the the quadrigy. and um, and then after that, I basically started uh, started selling these at conventions, and I did really well. I was getting ready to do my second printing, and. That's when people started calling me who would play Dungeons and Dragons with me back in the in the you know the 80s and the 90s, and so that's how I got the idea for the Storms of War campaign. Um, at first, I was just going to write a couple chapters, but I liked it so much. I liked the idea of talking about the monsters, the items, kind of the steampunk element of the campaign world, and uh, I had some optional rules I wanted to have. So. Um, I was fortunate to find David Johnson, he's the one who did the art for me, and uh, we just really hit it off, and that's when I decided I was going to just go ahead and make all of the material together, and that's how I ended up with the Storms of War box set, so now it's got the campaign, the items, the monsters, and the rules. But yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a lot, it was probably, um, probably 10 months of from the time I got up in the morning until the time I went to bed at night every single day to work on the campaign stuff and there were a couple times that I didn't think I was going to have it done because it just was a lot of moving parts but uh, but yeah but right around uh, the end of July was when I finally finished. And you really have to think about the process, the thought process of the players don't you, when you're creating these RPGs. Yeah. Like yeah. what are what are they going to think and then you talk Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you don't you don't just write a linear story. Although now I I wrote a plot for this, and that's how I'm actually I like the plot so much. I'm going to have a trilogy that comes out based on it. But uh, but you have an overarching plot, and then you have to have a lot of different paths for people to get to the end of the plot. Um, one of the ways I handle that here is the campaign takes place on an island, so they have kind of an open world that they can explore and do what they want to, and they're just kind of some gatekeeping scenes. Um, that's a great way to handle that kind of thing. A lot of times, uh, Wizards of the Coast, what they'll do is they'll write a very linear campaign, um, but people will be stuck into their linear set of uh, events. And I didn't want that to happen here. Um, instead, I kind of let people do what they want, but every once in a while, they'll trigger an event just by wandering around and doing their own thing. I think that's a lot more fun for, uh, especially like new players, new DMs. Um, it's a lot more fun if they just feel like they have an open world, they don't realize that they're following a path until all of a sudden they're at the end of the, you know, the campaign, you know? What do you suggest for uh, people to get started? In, uh, in like Dungeons and Dragons, a role playing? Or, yeah, well, to, to get started, I suggest that they, if they all have already used 5th edition rules, they go out there, they just make a character. Um, it's really the, all they have to do. The, the game master just has to read a couple chapters, um, make sure he has an idea what's going on, and then he sits back and he can use the maps whenever he needs to. And You know, it's, it's an open world, so he just, uh, the way I always would start out with campaign was, okay, what are you gonna do next? Set up a scene and then just ask the characters what they're gonna do next, and then they run the campaign. You just kind of sit back as the game master. Your goal is to just throw them fun random encounters that are in line with the plot.